Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be working on particle effects, connection effects, and also a glitch effect. First, we're going to create random particles on these separated pieces. Let's add a mesh emitter. Drag the second alembic, this torus one, into the emitter and set the properties like this. Set the speed to zero and the lifespan to five frames. Let's hide the torus mesh. Now you can see these green particles are scattered across the pieces. Next. Press Shift plus C and search for the constellation object. Select this particle group as the point source for the constellation. You will see some connections appear between the points. The constellation effect connects all points whose distance to neighboring points is less than 40 centimeters. You can change the size of the point spheres here. Let's increase the particle emission rate to 1000 per second. Now we have more connections like this. Unhide the torus mesh to see the result. Now we'll move on to the glitch FX. I'll switch to the final project file which you can download for free on my Patreon link in the description. Okay, this is the final project file. The main object here is a donut. I made it in Blender by following the famous tutorial from Blender Guru. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. I've grouped all the FX layers into folders. Since simulation based VFX can get complex with many elements. So it's a good idea to stay organized. Let's hide all these layers and uh, check out the glitch FX. The idea is the same as with the connection line effect. We'll create random particles on the torus mesh and use the constellation generator to connect them. We emit particles on the donut, but this time only on the reveal part. We'll use this polygon selection tag and this vertex map, it controls the revealed area of the donut. Drag the vertex map in here, then Drag the polygon selection into the restriction field. Now we have particles and connection lines between them. Increase the search distance to create more connections. You can also get more lines by increasing the particle rate. Check the properties, they're the same as before. That's the glitch FX, very simple. Let's hide this and move on to the particle FX. I've cached the simulation. Here are the settings. We'll emit particles from this cached alembic. This time we'll emit particles only within this yellow vertex map. In 
Here's the particle setup. I forgot to mention in the new version of Cinema 4D, we can directly use vertex maps to control particle distribution. I added a keyframe to disable the sim at this frame because the reveal animation ends here. The particles have a lifespan of 13 frames with some variance. The speed is set pretty high, they move fast. I also added a flock modifier to make the particles stick together like this. Friction helps to slow the particles down over time. I added some turbulence to break up the uniform flow and give it a more chaotic natural look. There's another turbulence, but it's applied conditionally. The condition is if the particle's age is less than 5 frames, it will be affected by turbulence. The turbulence is very strong. This means that right after birth, the particles get hit by strong turbulence. After 5 frames, the effect calms down. Let's make a preview render. In the next video, we'll cover materials and the rendering process. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.